avoid catastrophic climate change, we're going to need to make major changes to our society and economy in key areas like power generation. This is going to require a major shift of investment in the financial sector, and that might have implications for central banking and financial stability. So it's really important that we start thinking about this in advance in order to make that transition as smooth and easy as possible. We were doing some research at my research institute, the Grantham Institute on Climate Change and the Environment, looking at some of the ECB's operations and how that might have an impact. Specifically, we looked at the ECB's uh, asset purchases under quantitative easing, so these large-scale asset purchases of corporate bonds in particular, and we found that the ECB's purchases tended to skew towards high-carbon sectors like manufacturing and utilities. When we looked into this more deeply, we found that this is not necessarily an intentional decision to support high carbon industries, but more a reflection of the corporate bond markets as a whole. This shows that the corporate bond markets are heavily skewed towards carbon intensive and reflects a need to change and shift investment in the financial markets as a whole. This also shows that the ECB uh, might want to take a deeper look at how its operations might be having an impact that without intending to, they might be having an impact on the transition to a low carbon economy and might be inadvertently supporting these industry incumbents. So supporting the large companies that are already present in the market at the expense of smaller companies like renewables that have a harder time accessing capital markets. Um, I think there are three main ways the ECB could be involved in climate change. That's either looking at it in terms of its mandate and whether it might have an impact on its mandate, financial stability and potential mispricing in the markets, or taking a public lead, a public stance in talking about climate change and how it might impact financial markets.